Here we go. We got a massive WWE action figure unboxing in happening right now. It's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to get this box opened up right now. Before we do, though, I want to give a huge and special shout out to Rowdy Ryder Reviews, man. I love you, brother. Sending this over. I appreciate you. He's like, Hero Figs, I know we're doing a giveaway happening on June 19th. So if you guys haven't actually entered, be sure to go check that out. I'm going to put a link in the description below. There's going to be a giveaway happening for the brand new Elite of Cody Roads, which actually is going to partake part of it in this video. It's going to make all sense of why the crap we got this mother load of action figures, you guys. I mean, look at this. This thing is loaded to the brim. Matter of fact, if you look at the top of the box, it's actually surpassing my actual backdrop, which is insane right now. Let's get into the very first one and see what he sent over. And I'm checking out right out the gate, you guys. We got Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. It looks like this is the Ruthless Aggression butt with a little thick ski up ski. He's got the skin right there from the Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive, which this is actually going to work out well, you guys, because I wanted to convert this into Ultimate ultimate edition and i did not want to crap my actual elite so the fact that we got an altar piece right here to do that and i feel like that's what's going to do a lot right here you guys a lot of these are going to benefit anybody that's been following customs or the fixes that we've been doing up on the channel you guys know the value of these figures especially ray mysterio you got mr Buyika Buyika with a later elite version all tatted up and check this out we also got Elite Series 100. It looks like Ryder had his way with it, man. Look at this. This guy has been fighting through the trenches. He's like, I got figgy matches for days, buddy boy. Elite Series 100. Actually, one of my very favorite Rey Mysterios that were released right here for the year 2023. And it's going to, sure, without a doubt, fall in and within the best figures right there of the year. But we're going to find that out, of course, once we go through the rest of the unboxing. Because check this out, you guys. We got Seth. Freaking Rollins, and not just any Seth, but your boy right here with the updated WWE World Heavyweight title. And I love this. I could definitely see that the hair was also addressed. But let's check out the belt first, you guys, because it looks like the belt right here. This is something that actually was definitely desired in the WWE figure collection and something we're probably not going to see for another 12 months to a year and a half, give or take, given Mattel's circumstance. So the fact that we got it right here, man, this is awesome. He ended up stating that he ended up getting this from the E-Boy land. And I got to see E-Boy right here. For the win. And it fits perfectly, man. From what I'm seeing, as far as stature right there next to your boy Seth freaking Rollins, he's like, yeah, we're going to burn it down. Ryder Rowdy reviews on the giveaways and free figgy unboxing, man. I love this. You know one thing we could do? Drop a like, you guys, if this is something you guys would love to see. But drop a like if we need to get this in ultimate. I mean, as awesome as this elite is, I truly think that once you slap on the belt, you put on the skin, you get Get the jacket and you say Ray Mysterio again, share diddly. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. So apparently, we got Ray Mysterio right here on the one, two, three count right here. So we got three different versions. We got the basic right here based on his match. Who was this? I can't, I know it was WrestleMania. Someone drop it in the comments. I know this was a uh, basic right here. I think it was in the 90 series. Nonetheless, really cool for you to send this over. Next up, we got the tribal chief, we got the big diggity dog but he's hanging loose on this go around I mean, last i checked roman reigns yeah sometimes he walks around with the ponytail but when do you see the man hanging loose right he's a tribal chief now so this is based on i would believe within the mid elite series i know he was starting to get released around the later 50s so i think give me someone let me know you guys i feel like some of these figures are definitely mixed in to where it's going to leave you hanging like what this what do we got going on hold on so we got Kurt Angle right from the shoulders down but then we got John Super Cena so this is what happened here's my conclusion right Rowdy Ryder reviews he's like yo hero fix we need to find out who's got ruthless aggression and then John Cena shows up and he's like ruthless aggression and he beats Kurt Angle to the bloody pub and there we have it we got John Cena beating up Kurt Angle for his gear. Next up, we got Finn freaking Balor bringing some exclusive 
heatness to the love of the figgy game. And check this out. I got to say, out of all the demons, out of all the elites that we've seen in this, when it comes to the art deco on the back end, this one has to sit top break. Yes, he didn't come with the gauntlets, but he still ended up coming with the headdress piece, which is still going to bring the excellence of execution into play. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We got Brett the Hitman Heart. Now, fortunately, you guys, as you guys know how we feel about this, like, them glasses, like, cool. Thank you, Mattel. I appreciate that you guys included that in the following at least because they always do in a little give and take, but I would have still have loved to see had they given the man the Great Kali Punjabi prison because right here, one of the biggest figures actually ever produced by Mattel. This has got to be one it right here. I actually do have the one in the black gear. So having him right here in the Punjabi red, I do think that he's going to be able to choke slam your beastie boy straight into Suplex City, right? He grabs Brock Lesnar and Beastie Boy's like, no, let me out of here. <laughs> So it looks like we got right here, based on the Ultimate 3 pack. Actually, it wasn't an Ultimate. It was an Elite, and it was an Amazon exclusive. And Great Kali's like, you can't be coming up here. Oh, Punjabi Prison into the Slammy Whammy because Brock Lesnar is coming up. And I got to say, one out of the three, probably, and this is crazy because if you think about it, anytime you talk about Brock Lesnar as far as a strong figure, he always stands pretty firm. But I feel like the Paul Heyman was the strong feature in that set. And again, another one that's pretty beat up. You can see one right here. It's got a couple of scuffs, but it's all good because keep in mind, when it comes to Fix Up City, the only man that knows how to answer the question is your boy, John Cena. Beastie, what are you doing besides getting in my way? And we got Cena right here. Wait, check this out. So earlier in the days of Mattel, yes, they were doing the actual shoulder strap in its own individual piece. But the actual like wrist gauntlets, they weren't. They were actually just painted on, which is kind of crazy because you think of the time that we've gone and progressed throughout the years in this figgy game. And I feel like John Cena, he's like, what are you doing, Thugonomics? Are you teaching the WHF fam of what the brothers it is? Hulkamaniac, even even the Hawkster's coming in this video. He's like, Hero Fix, I heard you got a free figgy giveaway. How do we enter? What do we have to do? Well, first of all, as we mentioned, hit the link in the description. Of course, drop a like too, man. If you guys love seeing WWE action figures, whether it's from the early days, later days, or Cody Rhodes. Now, this specific Cody Rhodes Elite, this isn't the one that's up for giveaway, so I think that's the reason why it was thrown in here. He did have two different versions of the most recent, and I feel like that one right there would definitely be the best one out of the two. There is no belt on this one or jacket, but I still think this Cody Rhodes still fits pretty firm right there in the current Figgy shelf. Now, The Miz, this guy right here, he was awesome, dude. This guy has been awesome, and he never stopped being awesome. Maybe in the younger days, I don't know how I agree with this, man. Tell me, if you guys wore long shorts past your knee line, let me know in the comments, man. I feel like a lot of people were doing it back in the 90s, and I think Miz, he was just trying to be awesome. He's like, come on, man. I'm not from the 90s. I am from the early ruthless aggression. Of course, that is what it's based on. Matter of fact, I think that the following upcoming elite in the ruthless aggression line, it is based off this gear. So when it does land we got some comparisons buddy we got Eddie Guerrero and Latino Heat so we got one of his very first basics and this is kind of giving you the clash right there in the universe of the WWE lineup right you think about the actual green the actual color that this man wore I can't necessarily say that this is what I saw on screen but apparently in Mattel not only did they see that but the crappy scan <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with this head scan. All I'm saying is that this man saw better days in that figgy head scan shelf game. Now, AJ Styles, the man from the phenomenal game, is actually going to have some heat competition dropping in here within the next month. And it is going to be based on the full-on red. So having the actual black ear mixed in with the red right here, he's going to be like, hold on, bro. We got to bring it together. We got WHF and figgy universe. They don't want none. No, they don't want none. And then phenomenal forearm landing in with the yes 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 we got daniel bryan now no later in wwe now the man is representing the aew game but the thing of it is is that the true origin the true beginning the true passion of the game 
This is where it started, you guys, right? We got young, short-haired Daniel Bryan mixing in with the black gear. And I do believe this actually ended up coming with this shirt. I could be wrong. There was additional accessories. Interchangeable hands were definitely one of them. And I could be wrong, but I believe there's also a shirt involved. Now, Undertaker, we got the Undertaker. Landon, and this is what we're going to do, you guys. I feel like we keep arching over, trying to reach over, seeing what the crap is in here. But we ain't going to get to it unless if we plow through it. Now, Dead Man right here, later days, right? We had younger ones on several occasions and they needed to redo the graveyard so what did they do plain and simple buddy boy they brought dead man right here with the excellence of execution no longer hit man in here but a still beautiful figure without a shadow of a doubt now bang bang we got Cactus Jack landing in as the ringside exclusive. And I'll tell you what, this man right here, yeah, this is a nice looking fig without a doubt. And I cannot wait to see them reproduce the ultimate version. I mean, after all, we just saw right here in the, what was it, the defining moments. So you guys know that Mattel is knocking at the door for the ultimate to land in. Now, more of the lost. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. Now, this basic pretty damn rare you will rarely find the chase for mad hardy right here for mower the lawn this is pretty much based off the original one but this one actually has the painted on shirt on it I believe the one that was like part of the regular series either a he had a different shirt or b he was completely shirtless so pretty cool to have that now the lunatic fringe check this out you guys we talk about aew but we ain't talking about what this guy was representing when he was in the WWE roster, right? This guy, his middle name was Lunatic. I mean, yes, it's Dean Ambrose, but at the end of the day, you cannot say Dean Ambrose unless you have the Lunatic bringing the pop-up powerbomb in this basic. So it looks like this is based off of Plain Jane. I can't remember exactly when he wore the gear, but I do, without a shadow of a doubt, remember this was long prior to him getting the actual T-Rex to two. And how do I know that? Well... All you got to do is check. Do you guys see the T-Rex tattoo? We sure don't, Hero Figs. You are a genius. You are a brilliant man. And little does the WHF universe know that Moxley was the name that had transitioned once AEW came up. And I got to say right here, bloody version. If you guys did see the review on that blood and guts, this is still hands down one of the best from that series. Someone tells me otherwise, we're going to have a fight. And then we're going to have the tribal chief. He's like, Hero Figs. We got a basic coming up. We got an elite coming up. The ultimate edition is sold out. So for anybody that ended up getting like the top picks, I think this is what it's based off. This is based off the top picks, Roman Reigns. And the only reason I know is because they, the gauntlet, right? I believe the gauntlet was red. And I could be wrong. It might have been gold. I know that the ultimate edition did play around with the different options. And I believe the scan on that one for the interchanging option was with the ponytail up. So nice to see that. As well as your boy R-Truth. People in the air. What's up? Do -do 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 -do. Everybody saying what's up? What's up? And then we had the greatest 24 champ of all time. Again, I could be wrong, you guys. Let me know. You guys know your history. I know a lot of OGs would tell me otherwise, but I do believe that as far as like title reigns and having the most amount of wins in that 24 challenge, this man right here was definitely sitting pretty top notch. Now, Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Match of Bata. We got excellence of execution. Wanted to find this challenge, but he's not going to find that. No. Unless if he goes to Basic Series 100. And this is pretty cool. Hold on. Let me dig through the pile. Check this out, you guys. Not only do we have Basic Series 100 in this box, but we also got Elite Series 100 in the box. He's like, oh, Basic 100. Well, you ain't Elite, buddy. So what are you going to do? He's like, oh, he throws him into the ropes. Ray Mysterio coming around. Oh, 619. Area code to the Sweet Chip heartbreak music and then that's when you got cesario and i know that's not his name but that's what we're calling him now officially declared no longer antonio but your boy cesario and it is cesaro for those that were wondering hero fix you don't know how to read if you look at the back of the damn figgy trunks you would know that antonio don't call him antonio all right we won't call him that but hold on we're about to hear some glass break because da -da 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 -da. look at this Stone Cold Steve Austin, Texas Rattlesnake, the man that ran the game in the attitude. We got him in trunks. Not only that, but we got him in the double knee brace, which that's actually what ends up happening, you guys. I'm going to give you guys a little quick brief story on the rundown of the Texas Rattlesnake. We got to put this back in the Ziploc bag. Does this one right here a rare, rare without a shadow of a doubt? Now, Ayatollah, Tris Jericho, we have 
him in the purple gear. And here's the thing, too, man. This guy, he's done all kinds of hairstyles. He's done it in long hair. He's done it in short hair. But never did he bring it quite the way that he brought it right here with the purple gear, man. I love this. That is up until the time that said, bro, we got Braun Strowman laying in the back of the box wondering why the crap this man right here hasn't claimed the mount. I'm going to tell you guys, anybody that played in the yard and back in the day, and you guys might still be doing this during the day, right? You would climb up to the top of the mount and that Braun Strowman or, in other hands, your biggest friend, you'd come up to the top of the hill. And then he's like, all right, king of the hill. And then Rey Mysterio says, no, you're gone because Batman is the hero in this movie, right? Maybe Spider-Man in your story. But if we're talking about this figure on boxing, we are talking about Batman. And no, this is not actual DC figure. This is based off Mattel. So the fact that they were able to recreate that in Figgy form, that right there, sir, is a beautiful thing. Now, Sin Cara almost called him Rey Mysterio. Hey, when you're looking... This man, right, when you're looking, let's say you're coming down the entrance and nobody knows you. He's like, weighing it at 187 pounds. And then you got this man and he says, dude, I'm not Rey Mysterio. I'm Sin Cara. I'm the man without a mask. But last I checked, bro, I believe he is actually wearing a mask. Confirmed right there by the WHF Figgy Universe. This man, he's on the wrong approach if he's calling himself Sin Cara. True, man. Translation, when you talk about it, that's what it is in Spanish. Now, over here, Mr. Ali. Now, you want to make a wish? I'm going to tell you. You don't go to Genie. No. You come over here. You let WHF know that they're going to drop a like, right? Because after all, if they don't, what's going to happen? They're going to get the Genie, and then he's going to get his whole wand, and he's like... Pfft. Seven years of bad luck for not dropping a like on WHS video. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got, oh, dude, this is legit. Like, if you're talking about big figs, it does not get anything bigger than the big show. I believe that's what The Rock would do. He's like, all right, bro, you're bringing the big show. You're bringing 500 pounds of monstrosity. Well, check this out. It actually wasn't Mattel. Like, I know there's a lot of Mattel figures in here, but... At the end of the day, this right here, you guys, is actually based on an old Jax figure, Deluxe Aggression. So as far as articulation, I'm actually going to, going to show you guys. So as you guys know, Big Cass, he's seven feet tall, and he knows all the jingles and jangles. But when you put him alongside right there, the Big Show, this guy's huge, bro. I'm definitely going to put that right there as a top priority as the massive figs coming up here. Oh, hold on. Keith Lee. Check this out, you guys. So not only do we have Keith Lee right here in the upcoming AEW figure, but we also got the man right here in basic. What do you guys think? We love it. And not only do we love him, but we also love the rated R superstar before the rated R superstar was a superstar. Actually, he's always been a superstar. You guys know Edge and Christian. They were dominating the tag team division. And I feel like this figure is going to dominate the Edge figure display, man. We're getting down to the bottom of the box, but it ain't over until Drew McIntyre brings his damn sword and he says, Hero Fix, you got too many damn figures in this box. <laughs> We love it. But at the same time, we can definitely tell you that this is going to be one of the best of all time. And without a shadow of uh, Drew McIntyre, 2024, I'm calling it, bro. That man's going to sit pretty damn high unless of Russo, unless of the Bulgarian Brute. Now, keep in mind, it's no longer Russo Day. It's WHF Day. Matter of fact, landing in right here in the month of June. And this man right here, he's like, na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Last elite figure that was released. And I may admit there might have been one more. I believe there was an exclusive, but all the fix ups and updates were definitely done up on this one. Prior to that, I believe he was just on regular, like plain old plain food. Now, right there, we got Machka. And that's what you tell your lady when you got Kane knocking at your door, right? It's like, knock, knock, knock. He's like, who is that? We got the big red machine landing in as a ringside exclusive. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this figure, I'm going to tell you, this actually ended up being part of it, too. It was him, Undertaker, and I believe Undertaker ended up coming with the fabric goods. So this Kane figure, even though that's Jax, and when it is a Lucy, I mean, Mattel still sits pretty high as far as, like, the where it stands in the market. These old Jax ones still sit pretty firm, you guys. Like, if you end up finding this complete with the actual Taker and accessories, bro, you're looking at about two to $300 range. Now, Master, check this out. Chris Masters, he says, dude, we need to step back into the old days, right? So what did he do? He says, yo, Paul Orndahl, 
you got a scan, and this actually works out pretty good, bro. I love this. Matter of fact, not only can he sit right there alongside his new generation figgy shelf, but he can also sit alongside another Drew McIntyre. So we got another basic, we got an elite, and we're going to hopefully have an ultimate edition right here in the near future. We got a couple of Jeff Hardys right here towards the bottom. We got him in the red, red. We got him in the purple. And we got the lead, the lead, the lead, the lead. We got Mad Hardy. So here's the one that we were talking about. So original more launch that was the run and chase. This one right here is more based off the regular run. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. And we got your boy Seth Rollins in the beginning. We got Seth Rollins at the end. And we got another damn basic. What is happening with you, bro? Well, I'm going to be part of Judgment Day one day. I'm going to go ahead and join one of the most dominant teams, did he? I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you guys in the comment sections. Because Pop-Tart Owens, not only was he in basic, but we also got the man in a lead in here. So we're going to do a pop-up powerbomb right here on John Morrison. He throws him up into the air and he says, pop-up powerbomb because WHF and Sheamus is going to bring the bro kick to Rey Mysterio. Oh, so he hits him with the big old boot. Next thing you know, he says, when the crap are we going to get this man a UE, right? We need to see that happen. We do not have an actual skin tone that would match that, so it's kind of hard to execute. Oh, check this out, you guys. He got Stardust. He's like, what the crap happened with my feet? Triple H, we got some problems. And Triple H rolls up. He says, what? You're going to break my throne? You're going to set it on fire? And he's like, no, bro. I just want to come back, retire, set off to the sunset, and land as a WWE legend. And he's like, before you do, I'm going to give you the pedigree. Bam. And next thing you know, he pulls the man legs apart. Last two figgies in the box, apart from the Ray Ray. So this one, I believe, was based off the build a figure. Dom Dom. And then we got right here, Montes Ford. And then he's going to be like, where's my other tag team partner? Hero Fix, you got a whole massive box of figgies, and you don't got my tag team partner. Well, it doesn't matter, bro, because at the end of the day, everyone's going to be your partner, right? We got Rollins as your partner. We got Sheamus as your partner. We got Kevin Owens blowing it up right here with pop-up power bombs. And then over here, look at this. The massive box of figs. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Again, I cannot thank you enough, brother. If you guys do want to enter that free figure giveaway, you guys know what to do, man. Go hit that link. Go check it out. Come drop a like. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what your favorite figure was in this box. Did we go through a lot? Did we go through a little? Or did we go through not enough? Ready, bro? Three. Two, one, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Ray Mysterio, Braun Strowman, oh!